we recommend that the interview process is very informal. You may choose to have a prescribed set of questions or have a relaxed conversation. You will need to find out why this person wants to volunteer with you and whether they will be suitable for the role. Remember, you're not obliged to take on everyone that comes to you. For both methods, you need to find a quiet, relaxed room with no distractions such as telephones or people popping in to use the printer. Give your full attention to your prospective new volunteer. Try not to sit opposite them as in a job interview, sideways on. Introduce yourself and the purpose of the project and the volunteer role. Give the prospective volunteer an opportunity to ask questions too. Develop a volunteer agreement that lays down your commitment to the volunteer and your expectations, such as what their role is and when they will be volunteering, for example, Wednesday afternoons. Be careful with the language. Do not create volunteer contracts. Criminal record checks should only be taken out if the volunteer will have access to children or vulnerable adults or their records. If you work with children or vulnerable adults, you have a legal responsibility to ensure that your safeguarding procedures are up to date. You can do this by checking the Independent Safeguarding Authority website at www.isa-gov.org.uk When involving volunteers, you must take into consideration some legal responsibilities and cautions, including criminal records background checks and references. You may choose to take references checks on all of your volunteers, but be careful. You may exclude some excellent volunteers if you expect employment references. Consider the role that the volunteer will be involved in. Are references necessary?